First of all, when you're doing quarter mark, the best thing is to have a very clean bottom. Dump the sponge in the water bucket. I like to put some baby oil on as well, just because it holds the quarter marks a bit better. Body brush over the damp sponge and pick a nice part of his bottom and smooth the hair downwards against the way that the hair would naturally lie. Then just neaten it up by brushing the rest of the excess away. Then you add shark's teeth by again brushing against the grain of the, against the lie of the coat. And then you brush back towards the way the coat lies to create your sort of triangular shark's teeth there. And you repeat that all the way down his bottom. This is a way to sort of exaggerate how good your horse's quarters are looking. Okay, so we've put the bridle on and the breastplate's on, ready to go. Next, you just put your paddock sheet on if it's a you know, cold day or if it's really hot, you wouldn't put a paddock sheet on because they would then sweat. Usually the trainer would give you instructions as to whether they wanted the paddock sheet on or off. You don't want to completely cover their hind quarters because you just put all of their quarter marks on, but you want to have them so that they're covered enough to be warm and not going to get chilly if it's a chilly winter's day. So once you put your sheet on, you then put a with a pad on, that's just so that once you've put the roller on, they don't get sore withers and it's a good place to tuck your reins in behind so that they don't come loose and go over the horse's head if they're throwing their heads around in the paddock. So then you put your roller on over the top of your with a pad and your reins, which you can not for the jockey, but again, the trainer will probably do this for you. So you tighten it up as tightly as they can tolerate really, because you don't want your sheet slipping back as you're walking around the paddock. And then this is the breast girth that stops the with the pad and the sheet and the roller from slipping back too much. Up the other side and clip it on on the other side. So because Lenny's got white socks, and um, we put a little bit or at least some people put the talcum powder on. So literally just put, put the talcum powder into my hand and rub it into his sock and it just makes them look a little bit whiter. You do that before you put your hoof oil on or otherwise you end up with white talcum powder on your hoof oil. Then you repeat on the other side. And then once you've finished his socks, you would using a brush, paint on, your hoof oil, being careful not to get any of his white socks. He's very good and stands still. It, would, it always helps having someone hold them for you when you're doing this. So when you're doing anything around horses, you want to make sure you've got decent shoes on so you don't get stood on, or if you do get stood on, you have a bit of protection. You don't want to kneel down next to the horse because if the horse moves, you want to be able to get out of the way quickly so you don't get stood on. You don't have to be quite so careful when their legs are black because if you get a little bit of dark people fall on there black bits it doesn't matter so much and then just have a quick look and make sure you've got all of your all of your feet painted and we're done ready to go